Hi guys, Dr. Roger here uh, with Podiatry Explained. Uh, today we're going to be talking about plantar fasciitis. What is plantar fasciitis? It is the most common cause of heel pain. Uh, it's about 0.85% of all Americans have had it or will have it. And it is very common. It is pain that's on the middle of your foot and it's worse on the first step of the day. So talking about anatomy, the plantar fascia is a thick band, a ligament, it starts at your heel bone and spreads to your toes. It hurts right here, as you demonstrated on the model. Um, so diagnosis is usually a history. Uh, we, the patient says, or you say, uh, the pain is worse than the first step of the day. And it doesn't even have to be the first step of the day. It could be after sitting still for a few hours at the desk or in the car. And then uh, we can also diagnose it with MRI. Um, when it comes to treatment, the first go-to treatment typically is aggressive stretching. Here we're going to demonstrate some stretching of the gastrocnemius muscle. According to the evidence, this is probably one of the most effective stretches you can do to improve your plantar fasciitis pain. I know that the stretch is kind of far away from where the actual pain is, but believe me, this gastrocnemia stretch is very important. You see here that we are going to have the knee straight and we're going to have the heel on the ground and we bring the hips up over the toes until you feel the stretch right here in the back of your, your calf. The next most important stretch is the rolling of the, uh, of the ball or rolling of this water bottle underneath the foot. Um, you could also use an ice bottle. Uh, and then there are also surgical treatments which could include uh, a plantar fasciotomy, either percutaneous or endo, uh, endoscop. Uh, also there's treatment that could be surgical. Um, those are much less likely to happen until bees absolutely fail. So what are the most common treatments that we provide here? Uh, we do mostly injection of cortisone. It's usually a shot of a little bit of local anesthesia and a dexamethasone and kenalog. And to the, and that's meant to reduce the inflammation that's happening in the area. We'll also do a little bit of strapping as we call it. It's pretty much taping up and binding the foot a little bit and puts it into a little bit more of a biomechanically advantaged position where you're gonna feel a little bit better. And if those don't work, we will refer to physical therapy where they're gonna help you do the stretches. If those fail, and that's very rare, we will consider surgery at that point.